Today's sermon is based on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 36 through 44. Christmas will be here in less than a month. Right now, it feels like that's still a long way away. Like forever. But let's pretend it's Christmas Eve and you're in bed. Have you ever been so excited that you couldn't fall asleep? Did it make you worry that you, would, you wouldn't fall asleep until it was so late that you wouldn't be able to wake up in time the next morning? Now imagine that you slept all the way through Christmas Day. No! No! Probably you won't ever sleep all the way through Christmas. But let's pretend that you actually did. What would you miss? A lot. Wow! You wouldn't be able to open your presents. You wouldn't be able to see other people open their presents. You wouldn't get to eat the fancy holiday food. And if friends and family were only visiting on Christmas, you wouldn't get to see them. In other words, if you slept through Christmas, you'd miss a whole lot of good stuff, wouldn't you? Well, here's my advice just in case you need it. Don't sleep all the way through Christmas. In today's scripture story, Jesus is warning his disciples about something that sounds a lot like sleeping through Christmas Day. Instead of saying, don't sleep through Christmas, Jesus is telling them to stay awake so they don't miss the gift he brings. And the gift that Jesus brings, that Jesus wants the disciples to stay awake for, is the good news of how we can live God's better way. This time of year in the church, when we practice staying awake to the gift that Jesus brings, is called Advent. Advent means to wait and prepare for the arrival of something. For the next few weeks, then, we'll do things that will help us prepare and get ready to receive the gift of the good news that Jesus brings. Because, just like the disciples, we don't want to sleep through Christmas. We also don't want to sleep through the good news that Jesus brings and shares with us. And that's my good news for today. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending us Jesus, who teaches us to stay awake to your better way. Thank you and amen.